Take three, because I'm still iPad stupid and can't figure out how to edit. Um, the first video, my iPad actually flipped out of the tripod and closed and whatever. Second one I was into and one of the kids started crying. Now I'm back for the third and hopefully final time. Let's see what we get through. Um, hope every... That's a child. Hope everyone had a great week. Hope you stayed busy. Hope you got some stitching in. Um, we had a relatively calm week here. Um, no activities for once. We had a quiet weekend. I got some stitching in. Uh, I did get to go last night with a friend and saw The Greatest Showman. Phenomenal movie. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. The music was great. Um, I came home and actually used my Amazon Prime, got on the music app, and listened to the soundtrack straight through twice <laughs> while I stitched. So, um, my mom and I actually were talking about it, and um, I can't believe it wasn't nominated for any awards. And interestingly enough, my mom was also telling me, and this, this is something I did not know before, but um, one of the characters in the movie, it, not just a character in the movie, but she was um, an opera singer that came over from Europe and toured, um, Jenny Lind, L-I-N-D. Apparently, that is who my mom named me after um, because she always liked the, the sound of it. Um, my middle name is Lynn, L-Y-N-N, um, but, you know, I was Jennifer Lynn. I was always called Jenny, um, and she went with Lynn because it was a friend of ours, and she liked that name as well. Good God, now the dog wants me. <laughs> it's been a day. Anyway, great movie. If you have a chance, go see it. I know it's still in theaters right now. Don't know how much longer it will be, but whatever. Um, that being said, I also stayed up way too late last night. Long story short, since I have said this story three times already, I reset my alarm this morning. I skipped my workout. Won't do it again. I thought I could squeeze it in this evening. It didn't happen. Dog, please leave the table alone. I, um, yeah, I know. I'm talking, so you have to be here. Get down, please. Patience. Patience. Anyway, things get too crazy at home in the evening. I shoveled twice, once when I got home, once after the plow came through. So I got some activity in, but I gotta get back to it tomorrow. First thing in the morning, workout done. Um, just gonna jump right into it tonight because I've already recorded this three times and I'm just ready to move on. <laughs> um, I have a finish, I have some whips, I've got some haul, I've got some other fun stuff to share, and um, I've got a, a pass the stash. Um, my finish is a chart that I pulled out. I started this, sorry, started this a couple of years ago when Moe's Needle and Thread first opened in my hometown. And I picked it up and I started it and I don't know why I put it down. I mean, it wasn't a difficult chart. I really like it. It is a Summer House Stitchworks Sophia. There's a closer picture of the owl. It's only three color, well, four colors if you count the eyes. They have it charted for all DMC. Um, it's 82 by 84, so it's not that big. I actually, um, they, the sample was done on 28 count. I used 32 count linen. Um, and I actually swapped out the colors for uh, overdyes. So, this is, I'll show you the finish first and then I'll show you, I need something to put behind this. Show all of the, here's my finish. Up close like that, you definitely cannot see the color of the fabric. This is more realistic. Um, this is gingerbread. 
um, fabrics by Stephanie. And like I said, it's a 32 count linen. Eh, it's the, like the most accurate color. Um, I pulled or used three two weeks dye works and one classic color works. The week the classic color works was the lighter green, and I used bean sprout. This is all that I have left. Um, one six strand piece plus one strand so uh you can probably do it safely with just one if if you want to um stitch with the hand dyes instead of um dmc my recommendations are you, you know just the one skein of that the blue color that i used the blue green aqua is um Isla Mirada, Isla Mirada, I don't know how to pronounce it. Maybe it's one of those silent S's, who knows. Plenty of this left over, you know, it's it's the least used color. Uh, the dark the dark color. Um, what it is charted for is 830 DMC, and they call it dark gold. It's got a brown tint. I didn't, I didn't like that brown tint. I went with a darker green. I show where did it go? oh come on <laughs> it's a week's dye works and I went with moss this is all that is left and that did not get even get me through if you're gonna go with a darker green a hand dyed you need two skeins because um, I didn't have enough of this for the owl there is quite a bit of the darker green on the owl the wings the tail and a little bit in the face I had to pull, I had another skein of moss. The dye lots were very different. So I went through, I wanted to make sure that all four of the leaves in the corners were the same. So I did those first. I wanted to make sure this, this curly cues here were all done. I managed to fill in all of this, the light green leaves with the same original, um, moss but I saved them for last in case I couldn't so the only thing that I had used the other skein of moss for was the the owl I think it's fine I like that the wings actually have some more variation you can kind of see some more light and dark in there but if you are going to convert if you are going to pick your own colors get two skeins for that dark color um, other than that Loved stitching this. I'm showing it to you tonight. Look, I even pressed it already. I'm going to take it to work with me tomorrow. I've mentioned in previous videos that our sample wall is a little sparse at the moment um, because of two gals that had let us borrow samples that took them for various reasons, whatever. So, I, um, I told Mo that I would bring in stuff that I have finished and Mind you, it can't be anything that you've done that's out of print because she has to be able to order the pattern to have it as a sample. Um, so I went through, I finished this up. I'm gonna take it, see if she wants that to hang up. And then I went through and pulled out, I have a big tote that fits underneath my bed that I have my finished pieces stored in so they can lay flat. Man, I think I caught this bead. I might have to fix this. No, maybe not. So, I pulled out, and you may, you've probably seen these before if you've watched in, uh, my past videos, but this is Nora Corbett um, Iris. This is the first Nora that I completed love all of those beads in the top just awesome um so this is not an out of print pattern so i'm going to take it see if she wants to hang that up um just finished this one at the end of last year and this is a bent creek um i don't know if it's called hip-hop or if it was called something else i can't remember um but i figured i'd take that that's not out of print so I can I don't think that's out of print we'll have to check I guess 
Um, and then this is also a Bent Creek. This is one of their mantle uh, kits, pieces. This is Spooky Mantle. So I'm going to take that as well, see what she wants to use. I haven't finished them fully for my own display, so they might as well get used for the shop, right? All right. And I, all of those have been pressed, so I'm trying to keep them relatively flat. Um, whips. Yeah, forget it. I'm not going to try to organize this as I go. Um, this was my uh, stitch along that I was doing with uh, Devin July Cottage. And as you, I am stitching it on 22 count Cashel Linen in Platinum Gray. I have nowhere to put things. And as you rec may recall, I actually took the July off and charted another, I need something behind there. Charted another firework. Very happy with that. And added the Krynik to the fireworks. So you can kind of see a hint of a sparkle. It's actually blending filament, not um, just Krynik. So I added it with the strands of floss. So it's just a very subtle sparkle. Um, now that my Summer House Stitchworks Owl is complete, I plan on getting back to this one and working on that, get it finished up soon. And then this pattern will become a past stash because it was passed on to me from Heidi Stitches. So that's my plan. Um, I've also been working on the store sample. I haven't gotten very far on this just because I've been working on that owl, but this is the pattern. And get this needle out of the way. This is where I'm at. So I've got that hat done, the first spider done. Most of the boot, this is actually where it starts transitioning into the, the toe and the heel. So I'm almost done with this whole column. So very excited. Um, still stitching this in hand. Really enjoy it. Um, working on that technique. Um, so we'll see how the rest of it goes. I am not getting up to let you out right now because I know you just want to go out, go and cause trouble. And it's too late for you to be barking. Please lay down or go find a toy or something. Last whip. I did actually have time to work on this. I took half a day off on Friday. That's what I did. And I worked on this on Friday afternoon. And that is this old magazine chart. It's a Leisure Arts magazine. This is a chart that I really need a good block of time to sit and work on it all at the same time because there are so many fractionals so many colors like blended in that are similar and I just I need more time I need time to block off for it so here's where I'm at quite a bit of progress hair is done and completely backstitched same with the face you can see I've gotten down into here into here Mo uh, not the moon sorry the halo is backstitched so it's getting there. I, I absolutely love it. Um, you know, I, I mentioned, honey, please, week before last, um, that I was kind of frustrated with it because I hadn't read the instructions completely and everything else, but overall, I, I'm completely in love with it. Um, so, yeah. Frustrating as it may be at times. Um, what do I want to do next? I think I'm going to do haul next. Um, I did forget to show this last week. 
I watched somebody on Flosstube that mentioned, um, and I apologize because I cannot remember who it was, but they mentioned finding some trims and ribbons in the dollar spot at Target. So I stopped out at Target one day and found these five ribbons and trims to use. Not getting good lighting, but I'll, I'll throw them in my finishing stash, you know, for a buck each, it's, it's worth it. So, um, I also got these a couple of weeks ago and again, forgot to show, but it, it's, and they were actually in like the paper section, stamping section at Hobby Lobby. Oh, good grief. I've managed to do all of this without cussing though, and that's pretty good for me with how frustrated I can get sometimes. Um, little wire brads. Um, somebody mentioned, and again, I apologize guys, because I didn't write it down at the moment and I can't remember who it was. It may have been Cindy Stitches. I don't remember. It was somebody that had finished did, done a lot of FFO ornaments. No. No. And she um, had stitched an ornament that was in the Just Cross Stitch Christmas. I'm going to have to let the dog out. This has got to be like my worst video yet. <laughs> um, anyway, she had done an ornament in the Just Cross Stitch ornament issue, and I can't remember what year, but the, the, the end of the story is that the finishing technique actually used these little wire brads in the four corners. So I'll pick them up and maybe try that out for a different type of finish. Um, Picked these up at work since I'm stitching in hand now. I cannot stand having a thimble on my finger, but I'm gonna try these. We'll see how it goes. Notice they're still in the package and I actually have not used it yet. I'm going to put it in the bag right now. So tomorrow, when I go to stitch on it at work, I have the thimble or thimble pad, whatever. Um, another work, I only had two things that I picked up at work last week. The next, um, Tiny tiny Modernist, uh, this is the second Biscornu. She's doing a Biscornu of the Month. You can actually go on her website, and if you purchase all 12, it's quite a hefty discount. So you can go that route. Uh, the first month was birdcage. Now we've got this bluebird. Really pretty. Soda stitch pattern came from um, Three Owl Threads. It's cute. I don't know when I'm going to stitch it because I have so much other stuff to stitch. But I like it. Oh, I picked these up at, I'm going to save these for a minute. <laughs> See how organized I am? I got my January fabric of the month from uh, Fabrics by Stephanie. The color is parchment. And I think, I'm hoping that this is going to be the perfect fabric to use for my Lady of the Flag. Um, because I want to get that done this year. That was my goal. So before I started my video the first eight times, <laughs> I pulled out my pattern and the floss. I know a couple of the colors are lighter so I'm not sure if it's going to work or not. I will have to do a better floss toss later, but I think it's gonna work. 
Um, so I'm actually going to stick this fabric right back in the envelope with this pattern. Um, and I'd like to get that started soon. I don't know when soon is, but it's going to be soon. <sighs> Ta-da! Fabric in there. I picked up the new, this is February issue of Cross Stitcher. Really like this design on the cover. Now my dog is outside barking like a fool. This was a really cute um, pattern. Nautical. I don't have anywhere where I would hang it, but um, it's very nice. It, uh, let's see. Oh, I know we have some chicken fans. Those are cute. I don't like chickens. I like how they designed these, though, with the patterns in them. That's cute. Um, hens. I'm sorry, it's called Hen Party. Uh, let's see what else was in here. I've seen a few people stitch some of these Valentine cards already. I'm dropping things again. Left and right. There's that cover piece that I liked. Those colors would actually go well in my living room. Maybe I'll have to actually stitch a pillow for myself. Let's see. These are neat. Reminds me of coloring books. Those, those adult coloring Adult coloring books. Good grief. <laughs> Pretty colors in here. Not anything I'll ever stitch, but it's pretty. <sighs> Please stop barking. Naughty, naughty dog. And the free gift that I'm just throwing around. Um, I had a rather exciting uh, find from um, shopping. I stopped out at the Schuler books that's still open in my town. Excuse me. I went to breakfast on Saturday morning with a friend. So it's on that end of town. Stopped out at um, Schuler books and picked up this one. I had never seen these Susan Bates cross stitch books before. And there, there are a lot of very small motifs. Um, absolutely gorgeous. There's like a dozen butterflies in here that I want to stitch. I'm trying to find the page with all the pictures so I don't show charts. Even that little frog is cute. And I don't like bugs and frogs and whatever. Here's all of the butterflies. I'd love to do all of those together. Um, these smaller ones do all 12. Um, there's another one. That lighthouse with the rowboat is cute. Seashells next to it. So, um, and this, I, I think this was a very reasonable price. It was $11.95. Um, there's just a lot of very small projects. Um, things you could... Combine, this is a really, I'm not a gardener, but if you are, that's a really nice one. Um, now the blasted dog wants in, because it's cold out there. Um, but yeah, I actually got on Amazon, looked up uh, Cross Stitch Books, Susan Bates, and there's a few other ones I'm considering getting. Um, I'm holding off for now, because I don't want to just jump and shop impulsively, um, but I, I do have enough. I, even with the purchases that I have, my stitch from stash credit is still $64. I just got it, you know, another $10 for, um, that summer house stitch works piece. So I still have the money. Please excuse me one more time. 
I'm gonna let the dog in and then I'm gonna finish this video. Stop. My goodness. Why are you barking? If I can figure out how to edit, I'll cut these out. Um, so that was my exciting find. Uh, the last two bits of haul. Um, I found these in my car. I completely forgot that I had bought them. I found these at one of the thrift stores. Um, 90 cents. And honestly, they might have been like the color of the... Because every week a different color is 50% uh, off and 75% off. So I may have paid even less than 90 cents. So I got another alphabet book for reference for me. I don't know if it's, it might even be one I already have. Isn't that horrible? I have so many, I don't know. Can't have too many alphabets though, right? I don't know. The second one, this is what will be, this is my, my past the stash. I found this tale of Peter Rabbit. Um, 90 cents again or less, I can't remember. This booklet is in very good shape. Here are the patterns that are in it. It appears that there are no markings on any of the charts. The, I mean, this is an old one. These are all hand-drawn charts. And it's crazy because, I mean, now that we have computer-generated charts, it's just crazy reading some of these older hand-drawn charts. But anyway, this is in great shape. I'm passing this along. I will not stitch it, but I know that there are Beatrix Potter fans out there um, or somebody that might want to stitch it for a grandchild or a child. Um, I'm going to do it simple this time. First one to comment that they want it gets it. Um... Go ahead and comment, comment on the video and then get in touch with me either on Facebook. Um, I'm under Jennifer Brandt Upton. Um, I'm in Stitch Mania. Or you can email me. It's jennifer.upton, U-P-T-O-N, and then the number seven at gmail.com. Um, I just don't have the time to do a, a random number generator drawing type thing this time. So first come, first serve. Um... That's it for stash. Nope, not stash. Haul. I also got a little bit crafty this weekend. I made some needle minders. These are guitar picks that were hand stamped by me and sealed with an acrylic spray. I originally had made them as earrings and, and I sold them at craft shows as earrings. Um, I have a bit of inventory left over so I started taking things apart and I turned these into needle minders and I put a little stone on the um, back magnet so it's easier to take apart except for these two where guess who didn't think about positive and negative sides to magnets and glued fronts and backs without testing to make sure that they all matched up Anyway, <laughs> I did decide that I'm going to sell uh, needle minders. Um, I'm going to make a few more. I've, I've got the supplies. I might as well. Um, and I've, you know, I've got scissor fobs too, the be um, button ones that I had made. So I don't know yet if I'm going to do it strictly through Facebook or just start on Facebook and then... I have an Etsy shop. I've had it for years. Um, it may be time to just open that back up. Because I've got a lot of craft inventory that um, I could put back up there. So, I might be doing that. But anyway, here's my start. I absolutely love this one. This red is like see-through. It's got that white lily on there. I might keep that myself. Um, okay, so now 
the last things I had were, well, two purpose finds and then a bunch of accidents. Um, the shout outs that I mentioned, the one that I can remember without looking at the sheet is um, Jen at um, on, uh, Floss Tube, it's Miska Cat. Um, she was working on this uh, Quaker Gone Spooky by Michelle Inc. Needlework Designs. And her piece just made me want to stitch it. And I have it kitted up. Um, I kitted this up a long time ago. Um, this is some of the colors that I pulled for it. I don't know why I don't have... I don't have a white. Maybe I'll pick that up tomorrow. I don't know. But I pulled Flatfish. I don't think any of these were the called for colors either. No, because they used silken colors. I don't know. Didn't feel like ordering. I just picked them up from Moe's when I was there. So I got Flatfish. The standard, we all have that in our stash. Piney Woods, Autumn Leaves, and the fabric that I had pulled to stitch this on was a Fabrics by Stephanie Fabric of the Month. I think this is going to work well. I hope this is going to work well. I have to decide what side of the piece I'm going to stitch it on. I wanted something kind of Halloween-y looking, spooky looking. This side has a lot more green. In real life, it looks a lot more green. This side, more purple. I don't know. I don't know what side I'm going to stitch it on. I'll have to... I don't even know how big I need this. Holy cow. I might have to rethink my fabric choice because this is the what I have is a 28 count. I didn't realize how big this was. 230. Good grief! Where's my phone? I need a calculator. Oh, here it is. Um. Oh Jesus! Look, they write the sizes right on there. 237 by 284. So if I do it on a 28 count, it's gonna be 17 by 20. I can't use that fabric because it's I only have an 18 by 26 all right Jen I really wanted to start this now grr all right the other option would be to stitch it over one one over one on 28 count. I could take it down to eight and a half by 10, basically. That might be a good route to go, actually. Because I don't know where I would hang something that big. Hmm. Something to think about now. Might have to do that. One over one. Maybe that was what I even originally planned because I can't imagine that would I would have said, yeah, I'm going to use this fabric and then not realized that um, it wasn't going to fit. So I'm going to leave this out um, on my rolling cart. I'm going to start using that rolling cart for um, whips and projects I want to get going on because if they're in view, I'm more likely to work on them. So that's going to join the Lady of the Flag on my cart. Um, while I was searching for those two patterns, I came across three others that I really that I pulled out and they're going to go on the cart because one of them, two of them, I need to do. I need to get done because they're not for me. And the third, I, I just ran across and was like, "Oh yeah, I'm going to do that." 
Um, the first, I started this a couple years ago to be a Mother's Day gift for my mom. How to be a mean mother. Because I always, I old, always told her she was mean when I was growing up. Obviously now I know she's not mean. Um, and I'm going to be a mean mother. But it says, how to be a mean mother. Never allow treats instead of a real meal. Know where her kids are, who they're with. Make kids work, laundry, dishes, more chores. Insist on the truth. Produce sensible teens. What the world needs are more mean mothers and fathers too. So I started that. and This is random fabric from my stash. Oh, look, there's a needle in here still. Hmm. I'm horrible about leaving needles everywhere and then wondering why I can't find any. This is how far I got. And I put it away because I got frustrated because for some reason I just, and it only goes over to here. For some reason I thought it looked like I didn't have enough fabric, but I've calculated it over and over again. I, I know I do. But anyway, I pulled that out. I'd like to work on that some more. I don't know if it'll be done by Mother's Day, but I'd like to get it done and still give it to my mom. So that'll go on my cart. The second one that I need to get done, because it's not for me, um, a co-worker loves angels. And we picked this out. It is a Bent Creek angels and we swapped all of the colors out I used um neutrals and gold hey there's that one don't you love when you're looking for colors and they turn up in your kitted stuff um, but she loves the color purple so we are gonna do purples um, taffeta and plum paisley so I'd like to get this started. The fabric that we are going with is a Fabrics by Steph, uh, 28 Jobelin. This was Fabric of the Month in April of 2014. About time I used some of that stash, huh? And this is called Tempest. I think that'll be really pretty. And I have no idea what side I was actually going to use for the pattern now. We had picked a corner. <laughs> Good grief. I'll just have to lay it out. She's not going to remember, right? Lay it out, pick the best corner, whatever. It might have been this one because it had the most variation. If not, that might be what I just go with. We'll see. So this will go on the cart. And the last one, this is the one that I just ran across and was like, oh, I should pull that out. Um, this is a Who Knew Ocean Treasure. And I thought it would be cool to pull this out and maybe just find a really fun hand-dyed uh, floss. Maybe, well, or maybe just even get on the color and cotton website and pick something out. Um, I had tucked a fabric into this. Um, a four, uh, I'm sorry, this is a 28 count. So it will, if I use it, it'll be 14 by nine inches. So that's not too bad. The color I picked out is Fathoms Below. Again, another Fabrics by Steph. Um, this is a 28 count Jobelin. Uh, this was January 2015's Fabric of the Month. So, I think that's perfect for water. And I'm going to use it. And now I'm thinking... I have a Nora Mermaid pattern that was in a magazine, and she just released it as a pattern. I wonder if I want to do that on it. I might actually be able to squeeze both on there because I have 18 by 26. 
So it would be 18 by 13 that I would have. It's a 14 by 9. So I'd have 2 inches all the way around. As long as 18 by 13 worked for the Nora. That's a possibility. Another one to think on. Um, and another one for my cart. I just need to decide what color I want to do. I don't want to do solid black. I don't know what this one calls for. Uh, Twilight by Weeks Dye Works. <laughs> Six skeins. A whole lot of floss. Good grief. And then Rainbow Gallery Petite Treasure Braid in gold. Where's that? Oh, a little bit in the treasure chest. And a little bit over here, maybe. A little bit right there. I don't know, guys. I don't know what I'm doing this week. I don't know what I'm doing today. It's all kind of a mess. That's it. Um, if this is your first time viewing, I hope you'll try out another video because this was the craziest video I've ever done. Um, thank you to all of my new subscribers. Um, I'm glad that you found something you enjoyed. Um, all of my returning viewers as well. Who knows what I'll have for you next week. Hopefully a little bit less chaos. I hope you guys have a great week, um, great weekend, get some stitching in. We're expecting, um, or not expecting, we have a winter storm watch or warning, I can't remember which, and um, when I read the details, they were saying from Thursday, tomorrow at 11 p.m. through Saturday morning, um, with a possibility of like 7 to 10 inches of snow. Pray for us that we don't. Not just because I don't want to shovel it, but Saturday is my really long day working at my L&S, uh, the Quilt and Cross Stitch store, um, and it is our big shop hop. We have four stores involved. Each store um, rents a, out a bus and sells the seats, and everybody travels to each shop on the bus and three of the shops are out of our area where I think two of them are where we get more lake effect snow. So, I mean, if the bus company pulls out for even one shop, I don't know what we're going to do. So, pray that we're not going to get that kind of weather. We'd appreciate it. Um, other than that, have a great week, guys. Don't forget, uh, if you wanted the Beatrix Potter, the um, Tale of Peter Rabbit charts, first one to ask for it is going to get it. Um, and I will ship it to you whenever I make it to the post office. I'm not making any promises, guys, but I'm happy to pass it along. I, I Like I said, I grabbed it because it was in great condition, and I knew that somebody would like it. So i um, happy to pass that along. I hope you guys have a great evening too. I'm going to try to get this uploaded and it is 20 after 9. I'm not going to get any more stitching done tonight, I don't think. I need to go to bed earlier. I need to lay out my, my workout clothes for tomorrow morning so I don't skip out again. Um, and I need to move some laundry so I have some clean clothes to wear to work tomorrow. Um, but yeah, have a great night guys. Happy stitching.